What's going on, everybody? This is Mr. Lickham. This is going to be a Sly 4 Thieves in Time Clan of the K Raccoon Masks Guide. And if anyone ever tells you Carmelita is underpowered and not good, they're lying to you. I mean, just look at this. I have like five guards on me. And I take them out each with like four shots. It's pretty ridiculous. And with auto fire, it's not even fair. So if you want to have a little bit of fun, just do that. But for now, let's just get right into the guide. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Van Gogh ain't got nothing on me. So at this Come point in the mission, now. Unexpected oh, Ties, in which you pickpocket too. the key off of the Grizz, who is my favorite villain. He's just awesome. But anyway, once you pickpocket the keys off of him, and you're making your you way into keys. where you Go get the tiger, tiger skin slide. for the Sabretooth costume, there will be a mask bouncing around behind the bed. Just pick that up once you get up there. And now for the second mask, we move on to the mission going up, in which you're Bob, and you climb up the wall, and you kind of like, kick Murray off, and he gets depressed. But anyway, as you're climbing up, and you reach the part where the eggs are falling down, and you need to avoid them, instead of going left, like the mission wants you to, just head off to the right, and the mask will be right there on the wall. The next mask is during the mission. Ice, ice, and what you have to do is just go through the second tunnel, and you'll have to bomb your way into this little cubby hole. It's on the right hand side, right at the end of the tunnel. And usually, you'd head left with the mission. So just bomb that, and then jump in, and the mask is right there. two masks will be on Operation Jurassic Thievery. And for the first one you need to be Bob, and this is when he's climbing the wall and prying off the valves. And after you pry off the second valve, where you have to go down to the left, instead of going immediately to the right, where the mission wants you to, go all the way to the bottom, and then make the right there. And then you'll come to an area with some boxes, just smash the boxes, and the mask is right behind it. Later on the mission where you, you slide and you come to the spinning egg cart and you pull the lever, just go across both of the spinning egg carts, you'll have to grab onto the hooks. And then when you reach the next ledge there and you need to paraglide, right after the fifth geyser, you're going to need to continue going straight, don't continue with the geysers, and there's this little ledge and the mask will be sitting up on one of those ledges. The rest of the masks will be in the main world, and some of them are really easy to find. Just like in the previous video, I already found a few by accident, but I'll take you to the spots anyway. So the first one here, you want to go you want to go to the left, down by the frozen river, and then you want to jump on one of those blocks which takes you through the river and takes you under the bridges, and one of the masks will be underneath the left bridge, and I'll swing my cane in the general area just so you get the idea. Mask number seven is pretty self-explanatory, but I'll bring it up on the map anyway. 
Just get on top of the safe house using the pole located right next to it. And then when you're standing up top, you just look to your left and there'll be a mask in a nest. Then just paraglide over to it and you got it. To get mask number 8, just paraglide off of these like railroad tracks here and continue on to your left. And eventually, you'll come up to like this little foresty area and there'll be a few guards there. Just look up and you'll see the mask on top of like a C-shaped rock, almost like protruding over the edge of the map. And then to get to it, just go where I go, jump through those trees, grab onto the one, climb up to the top, and then paraglide over to the spot. The next two masks are only accessible with Bob, so get used to playing as him. And the first one, you're gonna want to run over by the Grizz's Palace. And once you get over there, there'll be like this little wall past the fence that only Bob can climb. And then just climb up there, and the mask is up top. Mask 10 was one of the harder ones to find, but what you're going to want to do is from the safe house, just run a little bit to the left and you'll find this path, then just run down the hill and across this bridge. I believe this is the same bridge that the mask was underneath of before, that way you collected with Sly. And then just hop onto this wall here, move all the way over to the left, and the mask will be just floating in midair on the wall. The last mask is like all the other masks throughout the game. There's always one in the hacking game at the end of every level. So you're going to need all the treasures for this. And to get to it, all you have to do is start up the game. And it's going to be right in the beginning. But to make it appear, you need to hit a bunch of the bumpers. I believe you have to hit like five bumpers. You'll see me do it in the video. And then the mask will appear right around the first corner. So if you enjoyed this guide, or it helped you at all, please leave a like, comment, or maybe even subscribe. I'll continue doing these guides for of mice and mechs, and maybe even for Paris. But yeah, that's about all I have to add. I'm Mr. Wickham, and I will see you guys later.